what is up youtube it's your boy technicolor concepts coming at you with another red dead online video for you it's been a little while since i've posted one but i've been working on the naturalist role and working on finding basically i've already maxed it out so i'm just trying to get 10 of everything so that i can get as much money and xp as possible I'm also trying to finish out the Outlaw Pass number two, which I don't have very far before that is done. <clears throat> but if you've been doing the naturalist role, you will more than likely have come across the wetlands and all the water snakes. There's only three of them, but they tend to be kind of difficult to actually get samples for. Most of the time they seem to want to be just deep enough to where you can't actually sedate them. Or you can sedate them, you just can't sample them. So I'm going to show you a trick that I saw Bleed the Block doing and it's actually worked out pretty well. I've maxed out two of the water snakes. I only need the copperhead. And I need about four of those to max that out. So here it is. If you are familiar with the game, you may recognize the building across from where I'm standing. It is in the Saint Denis, Caliga Hall, Shady Bell, Bulger Glade area. Here you see Caliga Hall, Saint Denis, and all this good stuff. And right here, there's a railroad, and there is a puddle pond looking thing right beside of it. That's where you want to go. When you get to this puddle, more than likely you will probably not see a snake, and that is perfectly fine. All you need to do is pull out the old fishing rod. Hopefully you've bought that and are good to go. Um, if not, you definitely want to get that fishing pole. Uh, but you want to pull out the fishing pole, slap some bait on there. It doesn't really matter what it is because you're not really going to be fishing unless you just really want to. Because sometimes, you know, it's nice to go fishing for a change and just relax. But throw the line in the water reel it back in you don't have to do anything and there you can see there's a snake right there there's actually two of them there's a cottonmouth and a northern water snake so there's one that I don't need and one that I do all you have to do let me make sure I got, all right, I got the right ammo but all you gotta do is just sedate the snake it's gonna sink but it's pretty shallow and the water in this particular area seems to flow right down here toward, towards this wagon so you pretty much just have to come down here and wait for it to come at you luckily like I said it's very shallow at the edge and when it gets to where you are as long as it sits still and doesn't float past you, you might even get lucky and it gets stuck against a tree. Or you might have a ridiculous hard time. But there we go, cotton mouth. That's number seven for me. And I'm not even going to bother reviving him. He can just stay right where he's at. I'm going to go find this other water snake and we're going to put a bullet in him and we're going to skin him because I, like I said I don't need it. So I'm going to go ahead and pick him up. I'm going to walk out here and we're going to skin this bad boy and I'm going to give that to Crips. <coughs> Now 
Now whether you've got one or two snakes, it doesn't really matter. Once you've taken out the snakes in the area, you can see the little map down there. There's a little paw over there that shows you that there's a sedated animal. No worries. If you want to revive it, go ahead. It does give you extra XP for the naturalist roll as well as just standard XP. But all you got to do once you've done that is run up here to this little pond, which is just right there. There's where we started. There's where I ran to. It's not very far at all. You can hop on the horse or you can run. It doesn't matter. But once you get up here, that little icon on the map will disappear and basically reset the computer and the game and everything so that when you go back you can spawn in some more snakes and pretty much I'm gonna do the same thing here that I did over there the only thing I will mention for this spot over here is sometimes there are gators and if you do see a gator shoot it you, you if you don't have any samples by all means go ahead and sedate the gator if you want to <clears throat> they may run into the water which makes it a little more difficult but yeah, it's part of the game so now that the gator is gone and I don't have anything else to bother me Except for this bird there. Oh, look, there's another gator. I'm getting rid of him too. Alright. As you can see, there are no snakes. And I've got the sedative here. So, again, pulling out the fishing rod. Tossing it in the water. Reeling it back in and breaking out the rifle again and if they don't show up immediately because sometimes I have noticed that they don't all you've got to do is you can simply look away from the pond sometimes they'll show up or you can run around to the other side which is still more or less looking away from the area that you want the snakes to appear and generally it might take a minute or it might take a couple of times of like actually turning around and looking away but just like the other little puddle they will show up and then it's just a matter of whether it's the kind of snake that you need or something different and they still haven't shown up yet so we're going to Turn around, look away, and then come back. And for some reason, it's making a liar out of me, so I'll run back over here and turn back around and see what happens. Okay, well, we're going to try the fishing rod again. As I have done this over here, it does work just like the other side. <coughs> it just might take a minute. And there you go. There's another cotton mouth. and another northern so I don't need the northern need the cotton mouth and be honest with you if they happen to be a little farther away from the shore than you want them to be just walk walk up to them it doesn't matter they don't bite you at least I haven't seen them bite
And he swam right up to shore. And he's going to pass out right on the shoreline. And there's number eight of the cotton mouths. And I even have a long nose gar. I don't know why they, for some reason, fish pop up dead on the side of the pond over here. Whoops, missed. Got you that time. I always like to go ahead and get rid of whatever snakes are here. That way, when they respawn, there's no reason for them not to respawn because you took them out. And just like before, I can always take the pelt and skin to Crips or Gus, whatever you choose. Either way, you're going to make money off of it. So now that those are gone, I'm going to go back to the other puddle. we're just going to rinse and repeat the same motions and that's all there really is to it it's it's that simple instead of running around all these different areas where these water snakes are supposed to appear and show up and you know possibly the water be t so deep in areas that you actually have to swim and you can't just walk out there and not have it up to your neck or the snake sink to the bottom and you not actually be able to get a sample off of it you come to these two little ponds and you throw a fishing line out there and hope for the best really I mean the snakes will appear it's just a matter of whether or not they're the snakes that you need Stupid little muskrat can get the hell out of here. And just like the other side, you know, if you don't see it at first, walk around, turn your back, don't look at it, turn the camera so you're not actually looking at the pond, and they will normally show up. And if nothing else, you can always throw the fishing line back out there and give it another shot. <clears throat> and it's looking like that might be what I have to do. Because I'm not seeing any snakes. Alright, well, I'm going to throw the line back out there. See all the fish that started to appear. Maybe a snake will just appear. Well, maybe not. All right, so we're throwing a throwing a line out. I'm gonna reel it back in because I really don't need to catch any fish. Sometime today would be nice. Well, it looks like it's trying to make a liar out of me. But I assure you, the trick does work. You just have to be a little patient. So I'm going to turn around. Do a little 360. And for some reason it's not showing up. And 
haven't really noticed the time of day making any difference. But you never know. I have noticed it seems to have more snakes in general show up during the day than they do at night. But I have found snakes at night as well. But for some reason they're not showing up over here. So we're going to try that old fishing rod again. There's plenty of fish in the water. And there we go. There you see, it does work. There's a northern water snake and a midland water snake. So neither one of these do I actually need. So I guess we'll just put a bullet in them. Although it might be a little hard to do at night. It's a little difficult to see where they are. So I'm just going to walk up on them. There's one. Oh. Well, damn. Not sure where the other one went. <clears throat> oh, he's over here. He got stuck under the bridge. So yeah, there you go folks. It's that simple. <clears throat> Come to this spot, break out the fishing line. If you need to, you can walk out into the pond, corral them somewhere that you need to get them. But you basically just shoot them, let them drift down to the end, and there you go. You can pick up your sample right down here. So I hope the video helps you out. I know Bleed the Blocks video definitely helped me, and I figured I would make another video and get it out there so that this trick is known to people, make it a little bit easier for you. If it helped, give it a like, hit that subscribe button, and as always, we'll see you next time.